Ever think an artificial wave could help you learn how to share resources? Me neither. But that's exactly what I found out after traveling all the way to Waco, Texas and meeting up with local pool surfers who never even touched the ocean. I'm Cliff, a professional free surfer and scientist from the Big Island of Hawaii. In my quest for new knowledge, I'm traveling outside of my lineup and taking note of those who are bettering our planet both in and out of the water. Located over 200 miles from the nearest ocean, Waco, Texas isn't exactly what you would call a premier surfing destination. At least, that was until last fall when the folks at BSR Cable Park introduced quite possibly the funnest, most accessible wave on the planet. For less than $100, customers are given a chance to surf more waves in a single hour than probably anywhere else in the world. And as luck would have it, the crew at Juneshine Hard Kombucha told me that they had an extra spot at BSR and asked me if I wanted to get a taste of some fake waves. Without much resistance, I got on a flight and headed over to the land of beef and briskets. After the surf, I met up with BSR surf operator Brian Fillmore. Brian is a local Texan who has been supplying stoke at the wave pool on demand since the beginning. He told me that in the public setting, there are about 150 waves per hour, and the wait times just between sets are just over one minute. Watching Brian send out waves like hot cakes from the frying pan, it was crazy to hear that some of the surfers out there learned to surf in the pool. It wasn't long before Brian himself had to get wet, Let's so we jumped back in for a midday plunge. <laughs> After the surf, Brian explained to me what the best part of being a surf operator was. Uh, I don't have much experience in the ocean, but when I'm out here, um, we have so many people from all over the place, California, Hawaii, uh, Brazil, um, the East Coast, I mean, we just, people from everywhere, Australia, uh, and they get in the lineup and they're like, well, you know, they don't know what's going on, so we explain it to them, how it works and everything. And then from there, they're just like, you just see like a camaraderie, like friendship build between that their group that they're in. And they start talking and they're like, which one do you want? Oh man, that second one was awesome. Like, And so they just start talking about who wants what wave. And, and it kind of brings people together in a different way of uh, surfing. Surfers among others can be selfish people, fighting tooth and nail to get ours at whatever cost. Whether it's catching the biggest wave of the day or even the last parking spot on the lot. We often forget that cooperation may be the best answer to all of this stress that we put ourselves through. 
I never thought I'd learn that at the pool. Looking for more Cliff Notes? Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and check out other episodes. Alright.